You can't come in here. They're filming. Asking everyone stories. I could tell them a few tales. <laughs> I love working here. All the famous people, all the marriages, all the gory, ghostly tales. Follow me. I'll tell you a tale or two. Victorians were starting to manage their town. You see various acts are coming into being. The uh, 1875 Public Health Act requiring local authorities to look after buildings. Uh, further back, you find the uh, 1856 Police Act, where police authorities were under the local authority control. And it all comes to a head, really, in about 1882, when local authorities are put in charge of health, police, fire, um, education, all sorts of things. So this town needs a large municipal group. At the same time, you've got Victorian pride. Your pride in the infant Hercules, as Gladstone called it. You need to reflect that and say, we are a proud town. So they need a new town hall, which is bigger, a municipal building, which is bigger, embraces all these services, but also shouts out loud, and, we are Middlesbrough, we are proud. When I was a kid, I came here with my school choir. We were singing in some music festival. I remember thinking it was like a big church. We sang Jerusalem. Every time I hear that song, I always think of this place. In the 90s, I saw loads of gigs here. Cooler Shaker, Oasis, Pulp, Suede, Ash. Oh, all that Brit pop. I never worried about how I'd get home. I just wanted to see them. It was only when I was halfway through down my pint, I realised that I've been on this stage too. <laughs> Robbie Williams, uh, which was brought m much excitement to the town. He jumped onto the stage. He didn't have any sound check. He just jumped onto the stage. There he was singing, let me entertain you. But, but then he stopped it and said, I've just been listening to the pub over the road. It was the um, Marquis, I think, at the time. Turned into the Hairy Lemon, but it was the Marquis at the time. And they used to have a band box. And the band box had been playing the music. And he'd obviously got out of the truck and heard this. He said, let's all go over there. It sounds as though they're having a better time than here. So that was like broke the ice. And then it was a fantastic gig, obviously. So that was good. So, oh, Supergrass uh, performed um, more than once. James. James were always there, they were brilliant, of course, as they just heard a new James on, on the way here, so they're still going strong. Steps, yes, yeah, Steps, oh, that was exciting, I forgot about Steps, yes, oh, there was um, huge um, radio uh, there and the, and the uh, Gazette, you know, watching them get interviewed and all that, that was good. Uh, yeah, so we catered, all the different genres were catered for, really, you know, middle of the road, because really, the town hall is a rock venue. Meet them all here. Dead friendly, most of them. My favourite's Lee Evans. He was doing a sound check up there. He saw me, jumped off, come running all the way down, just to say hello. Lovely, isn't it? Lee Evans, one of my favourites. He used to say, the stewards used to love him, so they used to turn up a bit earlier um, and he used to be on the stage doing his sound check and the doctor stood at the back watching him and he jumped down off the stage and he'd say hello to them all and that. And it was just lovely. And he said, oh, thank you for having me. I thought, oh, it's so lovely. One of my favourites. <laughs>